and welcome to episode 21 of A Toy Kind of Mood. I'm your new co-host. That's right, there can only be one. This Highlander took it. Actually, no, whatever. Uh, I'm your new co-host, Bobby Bear, uh, in Texas. Out on the uh, East Coast, we got Ronnie. In the West Coast, we got KJ, who said we can't bring the coast together. Um, All right, so we do have some cool news. We were going to just do a plunder episode, but screw that. McFarlane decided to surprise us. Uh, with this month being the release of Zack Snyder's Justice League cut, which you either are excited about it or you can't stand it. Either way, who cares? We got figures and uh-huh. well, I, right, well, I, I, well, let me let me start off by saying, "Hey, y'all, how y'all doing?" This is my Texas accent in Bobby. Here we go, yay! Butchered my mass accent last week. I'm uh, Ron and look here, coming at you from the wild front, Texas. No, I'm not. I'm Ron, the mass hole, straight up from Boston area. All right. Let me give you my comments, what I think about these figs. Um, I don't know. I think they are they were released today, the info. I don't like how they look. I'm not too happy with them. Um, I think they're kind of ugly, kind of bulky. Um, I, look, I took a quick look, but I know KJ here had uh, probably a lot more to say than I did. I just I didn't like them as a whole. They ain't something I'm going to buy. I'm, I'm passing on them. What do you think? Yeah, I'm getting them all. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Justice League aesthetic. Uh, Patrick Atatopoulos was the production designer um, on Justice League. Uh, I sort of like the, the visual sense that they landed on um, in those movies. Uh, I got a premium version uh, between Mezco trying to get a couple of the Mafex figures as well. Um, so the McFarlands is sort of going to be a nice uh, counterpoint to those to go with the rest of my McFarlands. And they also have Mega Fig uh, 10-inch scale figures for Steppenwolf and the big baddie uh, dark side, both armored and unarmored. So um, I've uh, become a fan of McFarlane toys, uh, pretty much. Uh, and I honestly can't wait to get my hands on these. These are all un- unofficial pictures as well. So that's why they're so blurry, a little bit fuzzy. So the other pictures coming officially from McFarlane are gonna look a lot better. Yeah. Well, we hope. Um, I, I, will, I will. Let me say. I, I think we've seen that before with the Batman figs. Yeah. They had their their initial fuzzy pictures, images, and when the McFarlane did the the metal line, and I remember uh, when they first announced them, they looked like crap. None of us liked them. It was very offset pictures. But then we started seeing them in hands in store. So hopefully, hopefully that's in it. That's what happens. I mean, mm-hmm. first, let me say, KJ, when you said you're gonna buy them, I was like, <gasps> gasp in Spanish, gasp in Espanol. <laughs> Shocking, but no, I I I, I will say this, KJ. Uh, I'm 100 with you. Uh, they are fuzzy. They're not the really the final product. They're not, you know. I mean, everyone on the show, yeah, we love our McFarland figures. You are our McFarland expert, but I mean, I've got my Justice League here. Um, I didn't like the, my problem was the sculpts, the face sculpts. The suits look fantastic, and that's one of the things I've loved about Snyder's vision is that you're, you're right, hundred percent right. The production on the suits looks beautiful. Uh, that dark side, that dark side, whether it's fuzzy or not, looks killer. Looks killer. Looks fantastic. So, um, uh, while I will probably end up buying some, <laughs> I'm gonna wait till I see them in hand, and then I'm like, okay, this is worth. That 20, 25, 30 dollars, whatever it's gonna cost, because I'm pretty sure the dark side will be the build the figure. Yeah, when it comes to McFarland, it's always better uh, once you get it up close and personal. Like uh, the Merciless Wave, I wasn't really paying attention to until a friend of mine's like, you gotta get these. And sure enough, once I built that figure, it's amazing. And then the Dark Knight's Metal uh, version of that, which I thought was more plain with the two axes, that's one of my favorite uh, Batman from yeah. the sub line. So, yeah. Um, uh, so jump from that to another movie coming out uh, next month. Mortal Kombat! First off, I still have my soundtrack from the first Mortal Kombat movie. Thank you very much. Uh, God, 20 plus years later. All right. Uh, Kung Lao from Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, KJ, your thoughts on this? Yeah, Storm Collectibles, uh, right now, they're some of the best um, figures from video games, uh, whether it's Street Fighter, uh, whether it's Tekken, or even um, uh, Golden Axe. 
or Altered Beasts. I have my eyes on some of those um, figures from all those different games. But Kung Lao uh, is one of their better ones. Um, even our good friend Travis Moody, who couldn't join us today, was had his eyes on this one. Uh, the different effects uh, with the hat tossing, the uh, bunny that comes out of your uh, friendship. Th this right in, Travis Moody found dead outside of a Target, his bank account. He hasn't bought a single toy in over 30 days. What's happening? Just kidding. Love you, Trav. <laughs> a little a radio drama serial action uh, from Ronnie. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's Storm. Once again, you can uh, pre-order this for around 70, 80 bucks. It could be Amazon or even direct from Bluefin Brands, more, more than likely. So keep your eyes open. Now, KJ, let me just chime in real quick and ask you this, because uh, as someone who does collect both the $20 G.I. Joe McFarlane figures and the Mayfax, mm -hmm. like, do you have loyalties to either side? Uh, no, I think it's whether I like the figure or not. You know, I'm not going to get every Mezco fig. Uh, I tried desperately to get my hands on a Mayfax a Dark Knight, a Nolan Dark Knight figure, and those are sky high. They can go up as high as $500. When Mayfex gets a nails a figure down, it's perfect. There's a Michael Jordan figure right now that's about a hundred bucks. Um, saving up my money for that one right now. And that means that I might not get uh, that figure, these other figures. So for example, the super villain wave that Hasbro Marvel Legends mm -hmm. just announced. I'm probably not getting not a single one of those because all that money is probably going towards a Mayfax Michael Jordan figure. Fair enough, fair enough. Ronnie, thoughts on Kung Lao? I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, I really like the effects that it has. Um, it does have the, uh, where the shimmer, or not like a power wave effect when he's throwing his hat in the game. You know, you have that swirly effect from behind. Yep. Um, it also comes with uh, the, uh, you know, the fatalities, but this one has the friendshipality, whatever it's called. I can't remember way back when, where he pulls the rabbit out of the hat. Um, you have all these little accessories to really add add to the value of the, of the fig. Um, the sculpt, the paint, what we see in the images looks, looks spot on. The accessories look spot on. Um, am I a collector of, of uh, Mortal Kombat figs? No. Is it something I'm going to get? No. Um, as everybody knows, I pick and choose my lines. I am a diehard Star Wars guy. I like Transformers, you know, Ninja Turtles. For the most part, I pick and choose what looks good to me. Um, but man, it does look good. I mean, Trino Travis has got it and he, he's, he's excited with glee. Um, you know, raised him from the dead back in the toy world. It was one of his first purchases in a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's cool. I like it. Go All ahead, Bobby. Right. No, no, no. Uh, that be perfect segue from uh, Mortal Kombat to Ronnie's bread and butter. We have the new, uh, the Star Wars Black Series, uh, the Imperial Rocket Trooper. I mean, I honestly, Ron I mean, obviously Ronnie's going to buy it. But Ronnie, what do you think of it, buddy? Uh, I like it so much, I bought two. Well, um, I actually, you know, tip you, of the week. Am I shocked? No. Right? Well, tip of the week, if a lot of places have uh, free shipping, if you spend X amount of dollars, and if it's a physical store like GameStop, you can get two, return one to your local GameStop if it's safe enough, and uh, you'll get free shipping out of it. Um, I might end up keeping both, depending on how they look in hand. Um, I like to have usually two of Troopers, um, just so I can have some, if I, when I do display them, I'll be able to have some kind of scene or a setup, you know. I don't like to army build. I don't want 40 of them. Um, a pair behind, say, you know, an important uh, escort or something, probably. Um, I like it. I like what I've seen in the images. I like the color shades. I like the sculpts. Um, it's just another trooper that we didn't have that looks does, doesn't look like just a repaint on, a, on the same old cast. Okay. KJ, thoughts? Well, it's, um, it's interesting that this is also technically another video game action figure from Battlefront 2, one True. of the gaming games. So that's why GameStop carries it. And a lot of those have been spectacular, like whether it's the Shadow Troopers or the uh, Biker Scout Troopers, that kind of thing. So just from a variety, is one of those, this one in particular, this Imperial Rocket Trooper, kind of makes me regret not hopping onto that subline the same way that I didn't hop onto Bad Batch or get the Asajj Ventress figure. You know, because sometimes that fear of missing out, one way to sidestep that is just to collect on other things. So sometimes I hope I made the right choice. I'm kind of like the grill knight at the end of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It's like, <laughs> oh, I Love thought it. these um, Power Rangers, you know, were going to be great. He's like, oh, he chose 
poorly. That's not a slam on Lightning Collection. It's just that yeah. you got to pick. Just, just you, you got to remember with any GameStop, uh, GameStop exclusive Star Wars figure, you you always choose wisely, have chosen wisely Ooh. because of the fact that they they are so unique compared to what we see in Hasbro. I mean, over the past twelve months, we've seen, oh my God, so many troopers that are just repaints. Um, they throw on like a just a black blacked it out, and it's a Death Trooper, or you know, made it. Uh, opaque colors and it's this kind of trooper or that color having GameStop really because it's based on video games and video games are their own IP for and they have a lot of this a lot of the stuff isn't canon for the most part so they get to take the so, you know the stormtrooper concept and make it their own to fit into their video game so you really do get these exclusive looking really one-of-a-kind type troopers when it comes to the ga- gaming greats uh that come and out of GameStop. Parts, and, new sculpts, that kind of thing, right? exactly yep yeah. um all right, so uh, that that's the news for the day. Now, to do what we were going to talk about initially. Uh, so 2020 has kind of bled into 2021, and we're still suffering from last year, uh, whether it be COVID, whether it be uh, idiots in power. Uh, we are still kind of suffering. That being said, this has kind of bled into the collecting world. Now, we do have plunder. We did. We were able to find stuff thanks to online shopping, which a lot of us have resorted to doing because we can find sh- in the stores. We are the two troopers in Spaceballs with the pick. <laughs> what about you guys? We ain't found shit. So, now, that being said, um, where is this coming from? So, uh, we're going to do plunder real quick. Um, I'll do my plunder because it kind of bleeds with both uh, Ronnie and KJ. KJ is the master, the Jedi master of finding deals online. And for that, thank you. My fiance, not so much. She's kind of angry. But for me, thank you. So I did find, thanks to you, Bishop from the Deadpool way. Uh, oh, from, sorry, the Sauron way. Sauron. The Sauron way. Uh, I could never find him initially, and he looks amazing. Also... Thanks to KJ. Boom. Orko. Uh, granted, he is un- unpunched, but the packaging was a little bent. But you know what? He's, it's so cool. Yeah, he is. I like the little stand he comes with, too. It's pretty and cool. Yeah, I mean, I do love that, too. And, and uh, the 2000s Orko had the little stand, too, and it looks great. And then finally, this was one of my Christmas presents finally came in, but... I put it in a little nice little uh, protective case that uh, my comic book shop sells. Not mine, but the one I go to. Uh, $2 per per sleeve, and it makes your figures look nice. All right, so that was my swag. Uh, plunder, I'm done. Um, all right, so uh, we'll let's see who I start. Uh, Ronnie. All right. Start with you, buddy. Well, you know, being a Star Wars guy, I do have some Star Wars figs that came in. Naturally. Uh, naturally. Again, GameStop, gaming greats. Battlefront, the uh, Imperial Shock Troopers. They had them in stock. I ordered them. They came in. This has been one that I really wanted and eluded me for quite quite some time. That is nice. As you can see, the, the really cool coloring on them. I mean, one thing about GameStop, I will tell you too, I've never had a damaged product from GameStop. They ship in oversized boxes. I have a big box come with this in it with so much wrapping that um, you never have to worry about bent figs. I, I have the Oko as well. I got it. I didn't show it because you had yours. And But same thing, bent. I mean, you can't yeah. really gauge amazon too well but uh i like i have this this is pretty awesome one is my collection um i'm gonna transition to transformers something that came in i know some people in the group already had it months ago you know the the uh, hasbro premium pulse members us peasants in the world that's common folk here <laughs> you know where we're not the premium members of hasbro society so we have to wait eight to ten to even a year later to get <clears throat> my gold uh, cobra command is coming sometime in uh, june we'll see <clears throat> Boom, Grimlock. Oh, that's nice. It's very, very nice. Again, I got this one from Amazon, uh, you know, shipped in a big box. Uh, you know, besides, this is a little bit of like bending, but it's not because of shipping. It looks like because of the mold of the plastic on top, it kind of whooped the top of the uh, box a little. But again, that's just manufacturing. That is not yeah. shipping. Um, I'm super loving it. I mean, this is going to go right, right along with the rest of my Transformers. Box is cool. It's part of the, the, you know, the 86 line, which we all know. We grew up watching them, those yeah. cartoons and the animes, if you want to call them. You know, like I said before, cartoons. And last but not least, another Star Wars fig. This one's special. I got a message from one of our community members, Michael Vallad. Shout out to you. 
he sent me a box, yeah, a figure which I couldn't find. He actually ordered two, um, and uh, you know I, I paid for shipping and whatnot for it, and he hooked me up. Uh, boom, Clone Commander Co- Cody. Nice. Yeah, I didn't have him. And he was one of those elusive figures I didn't have in the beginning, um, and now I have him. He's pretty awesome looking. I'll bring him right up. You can probably see how his sculpt is and all that. But the glare isn't horrible. But yeah, he's in the end of the fiftieth Lucas Films uh, packaging. So what if I ever, I probably won't ever take him out of the package. Um, I am planning on taking some out that are in boxes eventually when I have room. Right. Uh, but I do want to give a shout out to Mike because I have a channel of my own. Uh, you can follow me on Doom Fifty Eight here on YouTube. Uh, I do Magic the Gathering products, and he was he snuck me in two packs of Magic cards of his <laughs> ancient collection. This guy has a collection from the beginning that he just liked the art style because he is an artist. Give a shout out to Michael Vallad. Um, he sent me a pack of Marodin to unpack on my channel. Nice. This is a $40 pack. It goes for $40 online. It's crazy. And there's cards in here that you can pull that are worth about 120 bucks. He sent it to me out of the kindness of his heart to support my channel. I was, man, that, this community is killer. And of course, he sure. sent me something else, which I'm going to keep a secret because if you want to see it, you come on my channel. But it's equally as old. Actually, it's older. It was uh, released in 1997. Damn. Come on over and check that out. I'll be doing an unboxing this week for unpacking. Now, I do want to, I, I will give a shout out to Michael too because he sent me uh, a Boba Fett uh, back in October. And he goes, Hey, just in case you did you, I don't know if you have this or not. If you don't, um, here's Han Solo and Carbonite. Just pay shipping. I'm like, God. Oh, yes. I, yes. Yes. <laughs> You know, but he was like, yeah, yeah, because I, I, I don't need it. Take it. And and KJ did the same thing when he found my Firefly. I mean, Ron, I think you put it best, and, and, and KJ, I'm about to shoot to you about your plunder, but we will be talking about scarcity and how really the tour community has kind of banded together, and we've created friendships over plastic. All right, so we'll, co- we'll, we'll jump back to that, but KJ, your plunder buddy, what you got? Yeah, so uh, touching on that real quick, uh, I like getting stuff uh, for shipping because I really don't like being in these stores. A lot of these figs are not necessarily available for shipping. If you missed out on the um, Masters of the Universe Deluxe figures, for example, you're going to have a hard time finding those on um, pegs. The only things that we really have are He-Man and Skeletor, and that's it. Uh, But I still have love for the brand. Um, I missed out on Masters of the Universe Classics back when it was out. I just didn't have the funds for collecting back then. But not only that, when I got the, um, the Spider-Verse uh, wave from Marvel Legends, loved all those figures, loved Stiltman and everything else. One thing led to another. I have about three hand ninjas. Man, I need someone else to rumble with these hand ninjas. So let me go ahead and get that retro Daredevil on the Spider-Man card. And uh, one thing led to another. Yeah. <laughs> So the thing about this, it's dangerous. It's dangerous, but uh, thanks to different sales on Dorkside Toys, on Amazon and whatnot, nearly all of these were below retail. So I'm paying $14 a figure, $15 a figure. Peter Parker was 13 on Dorkside. Uh, Gwen Stacy, 15 on Dorkside. Um, some of the villains, uh, Mysterio, Electro, all on, all on, on sale. So the only with, with those are, sales, sometimes it's almost buy two, get one free. Because if you're saving five, five to seven dollars a fig, it literally exactly. is buy two, get one free. Exactly, exactly. Um, and then with Masters of the Universe, it's it was just golden. Like once again, one thing you need to look at is when you're on Amazon, necessarily that retail price isn't always the very first one. It'll be 24 or 30 or something like that. You have to go to new and used sellers. And then that's how you'll find the Amazon price. I don't know why they do it that way, but I'm so cheap. I'm always going to find a lower price first. Yeah. Can, You're doing can, God's work, KJ, because a lot of people, a lot of people you've helped out in that group from, from uh, you know, Shiras to Orcos to everything in between. None of us think to look down. And, yeah, right? Uh, I mean, you, you've saved me and everybody else a lot of money. You have. Did you find Roboto? I did find Roboto. One more origato. Yeah. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Yeah. I seen your face go, what is that? When he had his box out for a second. Hello. Yeah. Sometimes I'll drop links, and it's a very chatty group. So sometimes things get very, lost. But, man, that's chatty. on y'all. That's on y'all. Y'all got other important things to talk about? That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Keep talking. Yeah. yeah, another tip for the group. AT, uh, to, you know, Toy Kind of Mood info dump. 
Feel free to post that for Ronnie right now. <laughs> yeah, that's a. I thought that was a private group. We're just gonna leave that open to the masses. Okay. Yeah. It, no, you search it. You are not gonna find it. I'm saying for us, make sure you post it. You you clowns out there ain't getting into our find. Sorry guys. No. Uh, <laughs> but it's important to really look for figures that are available for shipping, just so that you're not out in the stores like this, because these companies, Target stores, Walmart. They don't care if you catch COVID during a toy hunt. They don't, this virus doesn't care how bad you want that action figure. So it's up to you to stay safe because in this wonderful capitalistic society of ours, they're not gonna protect you from this virus. They want to keep these stores open and they're willing to have- That was a perfect segue. Items, yeah, lure you out. Now, speaking of that, because here in Texas, our wonderful dumbass governor, I'll bleep over that part. Um, no beliefs necessary, it's truth. It is truth. Has decided to open up Texas 100% and remove the mask mandate, leaving it up to the companies to decide whether or not to uh, enforce the CDC mask mandate. Now, Target has said they will enforce the mask mandate. So thank you, Target. We appreciate that. Um, however, while, while uh, the Biden administration is pushing with the vaccine, we hope they are hoping to have everyone vaccinated by end of May. That's fantastic, great news. However, in the next two months, next two and a half months, while everyone still is getting vaccinated, uh, that leaves a lot of vulnerable people yep. open to getting yep. the disease. So which leads us let, to scarcity. So, sorry, let me comment on that. What you said, yeah. and I don't believe that to end of May. I think they'll have vaccines available for people to get vaccinated by the end of May. But Massachusetts, for example, was one of the first uh, states to open up phase two to everyone within certain parameters once the government said it was okay. I was signing up day one to get my vac because I'm a diabetic, so I'm on that list of priority. And the whole system went down. I've been trying for two weeks. We've been open for two weeks to try to get vaccines. I can't get a vaccine date because they're booked up three, four months ahead. They're booking until the end of May. So there's no way that, that when, when Biden, I mean, I, I know he's saying that everybody will be vaccinated by May, but I, I think a realist, realistic point of view, is, especially when it comes to toy hunting, is everybody's going to get back? Have there going to be enough vaccines for everybody to get vaccinated by the end of May? I don't think that we'll be seeing anytime soon. Fair enough. And and you do also have those moronic anti-vaxxers, which I don't believe in science. Whatever. Right. Anyways, so that leads us to the toy hunt, um, which kind of like you know, I mean, KJ, you take a bus, mm-hmm. you take public transportation. Yeah. First off, I'm- no. Secondly, uh. I mean, that's why when you know when you when you say like I got the firefly, I'm like, this man put his life on the line, literally and figuratively, to find this. It's like, all right, KJ, like you know, how how has hunting been for you, man? Well, I mean, I still had to live. I still had to go out and get groceries. So when I found you that firefly, it was pure luck. It was a grocery run. So I'm not necessarily putting my life on the line for action figures, but if I'm <laughs> But if I'm already there because I need to get um, medication or I need to get protein powder or something like that. And then I stopped by the toy aisle and was just looking to draw. There were four fireflies there. I scooped them all up. And usually when people do that, you know, we frown upon it because a lot of those are going to end up on eBay. You were talking earlier about the, how the toy community has banded together. When I found that link for a bishop in the Sauron wave on Entertainment Earth, someone else on another toy group have posted that. And so like a lot of it's just coming together. If I get information, I try to share that information. I try to encourage people to share that information. When I go to the store, I'm the first one there. I just went to Target earlier today to pick up some more materials for putting this stuff together. And I was the first one in line and just waiting for them to open. I get my stuff, I get out. Kind of, you kind of have you to know, I, get there quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to. You know, I used to love being around people. I'm a people person. I'm a fan of people. I root for people. And for the last year, uh, I stayed away from people because that's how you get the virus. And it hurts. It hurts. And I'm completely 180 degrees away from the person I used to be. Part of holding on to that is just sharing this with you all and other people who are fans, you know? Yep. Yep, I I agree. Um, I mean, we have a lot of people. I mean, I don't know how we're going to roll with the format of the show, but we have a lot of people out there that collect looking to collect toys that are that shouldn't be i mean a lot of people that want to collect toys right now the scalping market has gone through the roof you yeah. have you know you have soccer moms and un- unemployed factory workers and you know every walks of life you know you got scummy people which just are, are not what no are out of out of work and don't want to do anything but 
buy the toys in order to flip them. So you have this giant influx of people rushing to the stores and even online. I mean, we've talked about it over the past year, how, you know, bots get everything and you have this whole new generation of scalpers that are coming out into the, into the stores now that you go to, like you said, you go to a store and I go, I mean, you go, you happen to see something. I go hunting for toys on certain days of the week because here in mass, uh, you know, South coast mass, we are the last to get anything. Everything, toy manufacturing is done. A lot of it is done in, in China, Japan, a lot of the um, Pacific Rim countries. West Coast gets, West Coast, the best coast, I guess is what the saying is. They get all the toys first and then they start migrating from the manufacturers overseas this way. We never see them. Like we've never seen NECA. We never see, uh, we don't ever see waves of, of, of Joes come like they do on the other side of the country. Um, but you see, like I was in, I mean, like you men mentioned earlier, Robert, about shelves being empty. Uh, I went around and looked in toys and I just took photos and put it in the chat. And you're going to see some, probably already saw some up on this, uh, this you know, channel, this video today. Things are, are, are pillaged. Stuff comes out, gets put out that, that morning by the afternoon, it's gone. I was all I want. All I want is a He-Man deluxe figure. I want with the battle dammer. I want it. That's all I want. That's all I wanted. And I went to two targets. Uh, uh, two Walmarts, GameStop to, for shits and giggles to see what they had, if they had anything there. Um, a couple of hobby shops and everything's gone. While I'm in the stores, mind you, Mass is, is we are, it, we were in one of the top three behind California in the, the severity of the pandemic. Um, of course, you guys in Cali, you know, Godspeed, man. You guys, you guys are coming back from a horror, horror situation. We, people here seem to be, a little more following rules in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now you see people walking around with no masks. Mm -hmm. They walk in the store with a mask, they pull it off. We st we're still under mandatory mask rules. We're still under have to do this, have to do that. They're now just loosening the, the restrictions for restaurants to have a little bit more people. Uh, you know, um, occupancy numbers are slowly starting to, uh, you know, restrictions are starting to come open. But we still have to wear masks, you have to social distance, you know, all that, all that stuff. People, uh, I went down Target and there was, while I was sitting there taking pictures and disgruntled because the shelves were completely bare of everything. Yeah. The day after uh, stocking, there was three, at least three people went in looking for collectibles, looking for the same things I were. And that was in a matter of five minutes, mid, mid, you know, early, late morning on a, on a Wednesday or Thursday. It wasn't like it was a, a, you know, a prime time or anything like that. And the range ranged from, I seen this, 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 probably like 32 year old mom with a, with a baby carriage come over with her phone. Like she's looking on, she has eBay up. I, I'm like, I'm trying not to look, but she's right next to me. You know, you got to kind of keep, I, as they wheel by with the carriage, of course I have to scoot away because people are oblivious. And right. I kind of went uh, like backed up so she can get by and kept my distance. But I noticed her phone, she had eBay and she was looking at the fig and she's looking on the, on the show. I'm like, flipper, you got soccer mom Jane over here looking to flip toys, not to buy them for her kids. She's, you know, and then you see a, a teenager come over with three friends and I'm listening, you know, I, I'm one of those observers and he's like, oh, damn, they don't have any. We'll, we'll run to this, with a, the, I'll call this store. I'll run to that one. Oh, look what they're going for on eBay. Ooh, they're going for $42 a piece, but they're only 12 in store. We can find, I'm like, I just shake my head. I was like, good luck, kids. <laughs> they looked at me like, oh, someone kind of asshole, but it's true. I mean, people are out there. They're not, they're just, you got every, which every person from, from, you know, Betty Crocker to, to sports dad looking for toys now just to flip which makes it impossible for us to find any of us people that want them. Sorry, right. I didn't mean to want a tangent, but it, it just blew my mind this week when I went toy hunting. And I think that's, I think that's the, the, one of the bigger issues. I mean, even we've talked about this on the show. Hasbro has been trying to like fix the bot situation and trying to fix the scalper situation. And it's just, it's just tough. I think I've killed KJ because he hasn't moved. <laughs> <laughs> when I ran. <laughs> well, I've, um, I've, been having uh technical difficulties so i'll be well uh, you missed the, it it was a good rant for me i'm sorry the last few minutes you guys have said just I'm like i'm just trying to make sure there's a good edit <laughs> yeah no it was i went on a tangent so my apologies but it just is something that blows my mind because we can't get anything we want because yeah everybody's out there trying to make money and and it is sad i mean luckily uh as of this filming uh the, the congress has passed a a, a another relief bill while the rest of the world has been passing relief bills month to month. We've got our second relief bill. Thanks people. Um, but I mean, it, it is kind of sad that people have resorted to this to just survive in, in today and whether or not it's extra, make extra money or pay rent. You know, the fact that we've got, you know, toy flippers, we got only, only fans. We've got 
you know, Uber drivers, dog walkers. I mean, people are just like whatever they can to make rent until everything goes back right. to normal. Right. Um, yep. And that's even if they make shelves. I mean, we talked about in the past, we know store employees will see like with the Joe, yep. the Baroness Joe situation. You're lucky if he even hits the shelf sometimes. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. So uh, <clears throat> that was our, and KJ vanished. Oh, he's back. He did, he did a quick toy run, couldn't find anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is our, that, that is episode 21. Uh, we're going to do our quick, because uh, uh, we've got some great social media here. Uh, KJ, we'll start with you. Give us your, your Instagram and, and Twitter, man. Yes, you can find me at uh, Instagram.com slash Black Gingus. Um, it's going to get close to seeing some really cool stuff. Um, if you look, you may be able to find this baby right here, uh, the Spin Master Batmobile. That's compatible with the McClellan brand. And more exciting stuff coming up later. Nice. Awesome. And I've seen, I've, seen, I've seen some of the pictures you sent me, KJ, and I can't wait to see the, the final finished product. Uh, yeah. Ronnie, shoot us your because you've got you've got a new YouTube channel. You guys I do. Uh, I do. I've, I've 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 reinvented my YouTube channel uh, at Doom Fifty Eight. One word. I do Magic the Gathering product uh, reveals, um, unpacking, cracking packs is one of my themes. Oh yeah. Um, also, I do. I'm gonna start doing more into video game streaming. We're gonna have some. I'm doing a setup now where I'm getting capture card and things. So catch me at at Doom Fifty Eight on YouTube. My Twitter is uh, Ron Bertles. It's Ron, B-U-R-T-L-E-S. And of course, you know, you can always catch us at A Toy Mood on Twitter as our toy mood as well. Yes. Um, you know, it's it's a pleasure with you guys. It's it's great to be branching out on my own, but my well, my start is here, my family, my you know, toy kind of mood family, you guys, number one. Uh, and as always, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at uh, <clears throat> either a toy kind of mood, uh, at Bio City Geeks or yeah, that's pretty much it. Or, or pro, pro, no, Rob Beck's too, but that's a little bit more incendiary. Uh, and as always, people remember when you wear a mask, no, not this, because you know it still goes to your lungs. All right, everyone, that is episode twenty-one of a Tory kind of mood. Uh, KJ, Ronnie, Iron Bobby, hey, be good, everyone. Peace. <laughs>